Um, my name is Paul Nanda. I lead the Cisco Wireless PU. Um, and I want to say something interesting. I hope it's interesting for all of you that this is the first time we are presenting to all of you. It kind of sounds interesting coming from Cisco. That's because this team didn't exist. We were actually two separate teams. You might have heard from Meraki. You might have heard from the Catalyst Wireless. But you haven't heard from Cisco Wireless. I lead the new BU. It's, it's converged in the company, not just in the product management and technical marketing groups. Our marketing groups, we're actually engineering converged as well. This is brand new, this is fresh. So what you're hearing is a common voice, common strategy. And I'm just here for the next five minutes to touch upon some of these key areas and hand it over to my team. But I'm gonna leave five minutes for Q&A. Sounds good? So the first thing that we're gonna talk about, we are now present in both on-prem and in the cloud. And we are gonna gain the energy, the knowledge, the experience of all of that to bring together a product strategy, a solution strategy, to all of you. And that's important because the roots are important for us to take advantage of and build on top of it. We're also going to talk about the management story and evolution of how our convergence is coming together. And it's important for our customers and it's important for our partners. So we want to make sure we cover that. Um, the journey to AI starts with a lot of the radio management aspects. We are working in the back end to, evol uh, to evolve that strategy to look at not just 2.4, 5, 6 gigahertz. How does it work across the Meraki portfolio? How does it work across the Catalyst portfolio? So that's something that we are working and excited to give you a, a view into and also a demonstration. Um, then we are going to talk about simplicity. It's something that's key and paramount from our customers we hear. Take the aspects of simplicity that's important to Meraki, bring it to Catalyst, for example. So what are we doing in that regard? So we'll have an example uh, of that coming together today. Um, and then nothing ends without talking geeky about Wi-Fi. So we have some of our key uh, speakers with a tons of experience to talk about 6 gigahertz and beyond, and some announcements in that area. So I'll touch upon the strategy. It'll be about five minutes at the most. We'll go deeper into AI. We'll go deeper into a simplified solution for UDN. You might have heard about UDN solution with our on-prem strategy. You have heard about WPN from our Meraki strategy. But now that we are one team, we are looking at how do we optimize our solution for our customers, optimize the resources in the back end so that everything comes together easier and more simplified for our customers. And yet another AP. Yes, we're going to announce a brand new access point, but that has a little bit of introduction into directional nature to it. And I'm not going to give anything more, so you've got to stay excited for that. Okay, so what's, what's Cisco wireless strategy? If that's one of the questions that you have, I want to walk you through that. OK, so we came together as number one in the on-prem market. We came together as number one in the cloud market. And that brings a lot of responsibility to us. Any change we make has an impact that's a lot more uh, impactful to customers in both strategies. So how do we evolve this as one team that benefits both deployment models. Customers are going through a journey themselves. We acknowledge that as Cisco. We know some customers were going cloud first. How do we take our best of on-prem technology and evolve that into the cloud strategy? Right. So that's something important to us. So we'll touch upon it. The three pillars of our product strategy, if you ask me today, our product managers, whenever we're introducing something new, the three pillars that they have to check upon is, is it answering and making the life simpler for our customers? Is it more secure than it was before that feature got introduced? So is it adding security to our customers? It's important to all of us. Starts with wireless, of course. And is it adding the customer's journey towards sustainability? We recognize that our customers have their goals towards reaching a sustainable world. And we want to be in that journey, and nothing starts more than starting with Wi-Fi. For example, if you think of it, our market share is close to 50%. If you think of it, every other building is a Cisco building. Call it Meraki or call it Catalyst. A small change, saving one watt into our hardware, if it's deployed across every other building, saves tons of electricity. You add to that some intelligence to not use the power as needed, bring it down, saves energy. Reporting that to the CIOs of the world so that they can tell their CEOs how their approach to power saving is benefiting them has impact to it. So as a large organization, it may be a little bit difficult for us to come out with innovative solutions, but every small change we bring in has a huge impact. And we are responsible for it. We feel like we have to deliver that to our customers. So we'll take a very thoughtful approach, and we will work on that. Um, let's touch upon security for just a second. 
You know, people talk about uh, legacy uh, when they talk about Cisco, but legacy to us is maturity. I think it's very important we understand the difference. When you talk about bringing 12 million nodes to be managed in the cloud, and nodes by mean that access points and switches, it is a lot of responsibility to keep that network up and running through the upgrade cycle. The customers go to bed, waking up the next day morning, knowing the network is stable, right? So that's the important part of upgrades. More than 70 or 80% of our customers actually have auto upgrades on in the network. That means Meraki or Cisco can actually upgrade the networks without them approving or testing it first. And that's a trust that builds over time. And that requires vendors to learn from their first mistakes, push the first updates, burn some fingers, bring it back up, and everybody else in that journey also, but that legacy part of it, we find that as an asset to the organization. We use that to learn about our customer behavior model. We use that when we introduce new features. Before the product becomes GA, the lifecycle journey is very different, and I think Sunmil is gonna walk through some of that. I don't wanna take all of his, his thunders away. So that's something that we wanna learn from, use that maturity as we evolve the strategy. Um, we talk about simplicity. You heard about Cisco access points are now single hardware unit and you load different softwares. That's our first strategy that evolved two years ago. I don't want to take any claims off it. This is before my time. But now when we release it, um, every new access point will actually be a single hardware design team that's working on it, right? So there is no separate Meraki hardware or separate Catalyst hardware, it's same exact access points. We are evolving our management strategy, which is a layer above. And the middle layer is also changing and evolving. The controllers of today that you all know of, one of their primary jobs is tunneling and concentrations for campus solutions. How does it work in a cloud environment? What can you learn from it to apply to make the campuses who want to go cloud first also benefit from such scale? So we are kind of taking all those journeys, making it simplified and making it work. Of course, Cisco is not just a wireless company. We're a complete access company into the campus networks. We are extending into the security sites. So it goes beyond wireless. We are into wired and wireless. We want to make the campus access extremely simple to deploy solid, stable, high performance. And so that aspect is absolutely important. We feed input into our switching organizations, into our security organizations, so policies start working. Zero trust is important. So every product manager that's thinking about these features, every TME that's testing these features, we are answering, is it simpler? Is it more secure? Is it more sustainable? That's my last slide, just to introduce what our new team is thinking about, how we're approaching the problem. We respect our competition, they keep us on the edge, and we really appreciate that, that gets us going. Think Cisco of past versus Cisco of now. I can promise you that we'll be back here, <coughs> a lot more excitement and focus around what we want to do. I've got a quick question. So initially when you, when you first started, you said like um, Cisco wireless. So there's basically no, no longer like Cisco traditional, like you know, controller base and Meraki, it's just going to be all just under one thing, just Cisco wireless, it would be. The start like, answer is yes. Okay. Yeah. The products will stay, customers right, right, will be course, looking yeah. at the roadmaps, but the team that's defining the products is one team. No different team, single team, exactly. working on yeah. both different, and the customer has a choice to choose whether they want to go with Meraki or correct. What or if they are on one and they want to go to the other platform, what's the journey looks like? Okay. And now it's a very methodical approach thinking about that warm handoff, that white glove service, the experience that they're expecting out of it. It's not a breakneck or just you know drop this and start. Okay. About time? <laughs> I know. Yeah, I had this conversation with one of your sales guy maybe back in 2013, and uh, and, and at that time I heard it will never happen. So it was really nice. This is really awesome. It is the most exciting thing. Very exciting. That I think our customers and our partners have told us, saying that's awesome. I want to get to a single product, single roadmap, single strategy. It's that journey has started. And awesome. and so does that roadmap include feature parity between the two platforms? Feature parity that of course comes up. We have telemetry data that tells us what features are actually in use. Just because something was 20 year old and feature was added for customer A, that doesn't mean we have to support that now. We have the telemetry both on-prem and from the cloud to be able to get the best of feature sets. Plus new, to keep the competition on edge, of course. Yeah.